Hello friends, welcome to lesson 17 on batch script. In this lesson, we will discuss about the next decision making statement that is the if else statement. If you guys haven't checked my previous video on batch scripting, I will highly recommend you guys to go and check that out. The link will be in the description. So today we are discussing about the if else statement. So let me show you the syntax first. So the syntax for this will be if condition and if that condition is true, then do something. And if the condition is false, for that we will use the else keyword. And if the condition is false, execute whatever is there in the else block. So let me show an example. So let's start with added echo off to stop the echoing. Uh, pause to hold the screen. REM for remark, let's say if else. So let's create a variable that can hold numeric value equal to 5 set slash a b equal to let's say 10 and set slash a c c will be the addition of variable a and variable b a plus let's say variable a plus variable b so here the value of c will be a plus b that will be 15 so let's create a if statement if else statement if variable c values equivalent to 15 then what should do print value is correct else it's not equal to 15 print wrong write the another statement let's say if the value is 10 so create a bad executable file So if you see at the code here, the variable A has value 5, variable B has value 10. So the value of variable C will be A plus B that will be equal to 15. If 15 is equivalent to 15, that's true in this scenario. So value is correct will be printed at the output. So in this case, else block will not be printed, means it will not run because the condition has satisfied. So if you see this one, if C is equivalent to 10, 15 is not equivalent to 10. So this condition will not satisfy, so it won't go inside the if statement block so it will go inside the else part so it will look for the else part and see whatever is there inside the else statement so it will execute that so let me show you so the output of this program should be values correct for this one and wrong for this one so let's see that you can see value is correct and wrong so if I change this to 10 and now it changes to 15 so what will happen yeah it will reverse so now it will print wrong here and it will print values correct so let me show you that wrong and values correct so that was all for this video I hope you guys have enjoyed the video in the next video we will talk about the nested if else statement or you can also say nested if statement till then stay tuned stay connected and thanks for watching the video